It has begun. So, how's the life of an ex-angel suiting you? Can't complain. Sex is no longer off limits. Right, of course. Well, what can I say? Had the light fired me. You shouldn't give them so many reasons. You know, there are rules. Come on, Barbara, I just did my job. I was the best at the light gun. Now I have to get by like any other unemployed human being. It's pretty cold down here, you know? Is it? Right. Etherlight took away your powers. You're not an angel anymore. Did you... Um... Do you ever... What? Do you ever miss... Uh, never mind. Look, I have something very important to tell you. There's been a... Hold on a second. Yeah? Mr. Lennox. So, you're still alive. How convenient. Who is this? Your salvation. If you survive, meet me at East Road Cemetery. What the hell? Forgive me, Ryan. Now run! Get out of here now! Don't shoot! Linux. I presume you've guessed by now who it is you're talking to. I've got some theories. One of them says you're Lucius Black, head of the Abyss Agency. Other lights and my former mortal enemy arranges a meeting at a cemetery. I'm very thoughtful of you. Enemy? 
Why would you call that someone who is here to save you? Save me? Well, look at you, all helpful. I've never thought salvation was up your alley. You know better than to presume this is charity work. I'm here because I believe your current unemployment to be a terrible waste of potential. It was foolish of Etherlight to take their top player out of the game. And you thought you'd get me to switch teams and play for your side instead, just like that? Dead right, kid. You could be back in action. Feel real power cursing through your veins. This power! Why don't you spare me the fireworks? Go impress your own boys. My agents are not very impersonable at the moment because they're all dead. I want you to work for me, Lennox. Yes, and I really want to end up like the rest of your boys. Damn you, convincing. You are really starting to test my patience. But that big mouth of yours won't stop your former employees from putting a bullet in your brain. Ah, oh, you didn't see it coming? The ambush in the bar? Etherlight sees you as a threat that needs to be eliminated. Fast. I, on the other hand, am presenting you with an opportunity to repay Etherlight for sentencing you to be an ex-angel with interests. Surprised? I'm your only option for survival. Is that all you can offer? And think of all that power you'll have. Or maybe you get a real kick out of being a puny mortal. Sure, I get to wear those cozy woolen sweaters. And mittens. Mittens rock, you should try it. But you have a point here. Let me consult Mr. Dollar here. I'm in. Good. Now, feel the real power. This is the power of the darkness. Furious anger. You have dealt with him. to pay me back for my charity. Hey, Black. Show me my new powers. Easy, Linux. We'll show you when it's essential to proceed. Hard temple bear cluster on the hill. Okay. Assuming I get there intact, what do you want me to find there? Well, my top agent was killed there and... Man, you're really great with inspirational speeches. Listen, before they shot him, he managed to pass on some exciting information. Apparently, a certain scientist named Wolf stationed in the cloister is developing a technology that I'm extremely interested in. I want you to scout the facility for any information on the project you can find. Okay, that wolf character. Wolf is in the big bad. Wolf's pretty harmless. His assistant though, Elena Zuperov. She's no little red riding hood. That much I can tell you. Watch your back. Sure will. The fairy tales tend to have bloody endings. I will contact you about your progress over the communicator. Right. 
can't wait. What brings you here, sir? This place is godforsaken. The whole world is godforsaken, Grandpa. Be careful. Evil's approaching. I can feel it in the wind. Whatever happened to small town hospitality? old habits die hard. Anyway, seems like they don't want visitors. I gotta find another way in. in front of the village church. Such places are not compatible with my force. You're an abyss agent now, Lennox, and you were given infernal mana. It's the source of the power you possess. Man, I'm a trained agent, remember? I know what freaking mana is. Then you should know that you lose it around churches and other heavenly infrastructure facilities. Your powers weaken. So, what makes them stronger? Just a gloomy, dimly lit basement. Doesn't look very demonic to me. Darkness is. Our ally? Yeah, I see what you mean. Over and out. As for my part of the deal, I think you're going to like it. Hell yeah. You're such a killjoy man. Yeah. <laughs> 
Over. No, sir. Everything's all clear. Nothing suspicious, sir. No entry under any circumstances. Yes, sir. Are you in? Yes. Looks like the cloister basement. Find the way up to the main grounds. Here! Yeah? Progress report. I had a small encounter with the guy in monk's robes, but we didn't get a chance to talk. He kind of died on me before proper introductions. Why would I ever want to do that? To heal your wounds. I find it rather enjoyable. See for yourself. That way you gain energy and search dead bodies. Cool. And weird. Which pretty much sums up my life. We've got intruder alert! Contact Kruger immediately. Tell him to double the guards in the railway cable station area. You really think anyone could get that far? We'd better not risk taking chances. And if someone manages to get to the upper monastery... Then what? Then we're all dead. Hey you! situation is clear so far. Seems like we really have an intruder in the house. Who's guarding the cable station? The boss. Oh yeah? No happy ride for our guest then.
It's looking good. There's another section of the monastery up on the hill just a cable car right away. We need to get rid of some big shot monk at the station first. So why aren't you there yet? Are you scared? More stuck than scared. Don't waste my time, Lennox. Get up there, now! Quit bitching, boss. I'm on my way. This is where some of your tricks could come in handy. So, you do need my advice after all, Lennox. About as much as you need my help, Black. Fair enough. One of the powers I gave you is teleportation. Use it carefully. It's tricky and can be dangerous in a beginner's hand. Well, your concern for my well-being brings tears to my eyes. I suppose it uses up a lot of mana.
Leave the shadows. Show yourself. I'm comfortable right where I am. Thank you. Let there be light then. And we'll see how comfortable you feel, shadow creature. Manhandle will be more accurate. He's dead. Well done. I know. I've reached the upper cloister. Finally. You've been quite useless so far. You got wolf for me. Next time you're doing it all yourself. And what was that about Wolf's assistant? You should have paid attention. Over and out. Guards! Stand by for combat! Disturbance in the lower cloister! I see not only Adelaide is into high-tech gadgets. You underestimate the Abyss power. The most ingenious invention of mankind were designed for the sole purpose of killing people more effectively. That sounds promising. What did I get? The vision that makes you able to see what a human eye normally doesn't. For example, mana and health sources. Well, hidden secrets. Treasure chests, pirate's bounty, yeah, I get it.
is it? left the cloister. Only his assistant's still around. How do you know that? Don't my talents just amaze you? Don't give yourself too much credit. I need you to find me anything to do with the technology. Anything. Acolytes, take up positions. Surround the enemy and open fire.
after a shot. Hey! Torture chamber. Screens, restraint chairs, lots of switches. Good. Very good. It must be one of Wolf's labs and... What? I need documentation. Anything related to his research. Maybe I'll find something on these computers. Fresh air, but yeah, I'm all right. We need to talk. I'll find a way to meet you. It's extremely important. And don't breathe a word about this. If anyone knows I contacted you, it's all over. Why does everyone want me to stop breathing all of a sudden? Be careful. Major Zubrov's in the cathedral now. She's someone who enjoys making people suffer. And it's her area of expertise. Don't move! Shit. We'll chat later. Platoon, formation. Second platoon, to the turrets. When the enemy approaches, open fire. Defend the cathedral. guest here has overstayed his welcome. I'll show him the door, sir. No need to be courteous about it, Major Zubrov. Certainly, sir. I'll <clears throat> steer him towards the light. I'm Major Eleanor Zubrov, 
so pleased to meet you. You've demolished everything that stood in your way so far. Impressive. Ryan Lennox at your service. You realize that you're kind of in my way too? I am? Well, it won't be for long now. Make yourself at home, Mr. Lennox. practiced on your colleagues, Zubra. This one? His efficiency was found to be inadequate. Well, I'm not a scrawny lab tech. And I'm quite efficient, so I guess there might be trouble. Don't get your hopes up. You're no fun at all. Strange. I'm having lots of fun. Maybe you should just get to know me better. I'm rather busy at the moment. Rain check. Not really, but Elena left me some address and I just had a good taste of what to expect there. I think she really likes me, you know. She's really going out of her way to entertain me. I'm glad you find this amusing. But this is not the time for silly games. The address is her only lead. Get there as fast as you can. I'm in. As expected, it looks like an old refinery. But knowing Elena, I'm sure she has a spectacular reception committee waiting for me. Well, you shouldn't let them wait too long. The enemy's here! Kill him at all costs! Welcome, Mr. Lennox. I'm glad you didn't stand me up. Otherwise, you'd miss your great surprise. Let me guess. A dinner by candlelight? Close. Your dinner for the worms. As for candlelight, I'm afraid we might not bother with a proper funeral. And this is your great surprise? Oh, and read up on it sometime, will you? The point is to avoid the obvious.
Intruder in the area. Over.
Professor, hurry up. We've got an emergency. Remove all objects from the lab. I repeat, remove all objects from the lab. And you? You're not going to let me go, are you? Never, sweetie. It'll break my heart. I'll follow you to the grave. Ladies first. A lot of trouble? Now you're talking about your precious former employer, Lennox. So, what does the Noble Abyss kindly benefit me with? A magnificent device that allows you to teleport things, even heavy ones. Heavy like in human body heavy? That too. Yes, you can teleport people, dead or alive, if you find it necessary. At this point, it wouldn't even surprise me. Kid here. What do you want to hear? I'm chasing Eleanor around the sewage canals.
Ryan! Over here! Barbara? What? Shh, just listen. It's our new superior, General Carlos Geises. He's crazy. He's ordered the extermination of all Abyss agents. I wasn't working for Abyss when Netherlight went after me in that bar. He sees you as a threat, but it gets worse. What was that? I have to go now, but I'll meet you soon. Please be careful, Ryan. I guess this place really suits a rat like you. A lovely place for our little date. You're really getting to know me better, huh? God damn you, Lennox. I'll wipe you from the face of the earth. You're a worthy opponent. Major Zubrov, what's taking you so long? Just an abyss rat. Give me a couple of minutes, sir. I'll handle it.
bless you. Ryan, what happened to you? You've changed so much. I saw you fighting Eleanor, using demonic powers. That's my new job, Barbara. Are you really with Abyss now? Ryan, tell me the truth. I need to trust you. You can trust me, Barbara. You know you can. I have no choice. Professor Wolf is here, working on some monstrous contraption. You have to stop him for good. You're the only hope we've got. I wish you hadn't said that. You wouldn't believe the pressure. I'm serious, Ryan. I beg you, hurry up and find him. Prove to me that we're on the same side. I have to go. I've got orders. I'm begging you, Ryan. Stop this insanity. Stop Wolf before it's too late. Anything new on Wolf's activities, Lennox? Not yet. But he's one pretty assistant short. Strange. She wasn't too keen on bowing out peacefully. I'm certain you gave her a proper send-off. Now focus on the task at hand and find Wolf. I'm losing my patience. The area is clear so far, sir.
just the lab work. Now, Black. The same? What's your progress? None. They... Damn it! Stop wasting my time, Lennox! Get me Wolf and his machinery now! So, Lucius is totally here. What an honor. Wolf! Professor, to you, you Enough of this madness. This is where it all ends. Ha! True genius is unstuck. My precious machine works. Witness heaven's twilight. Well, you won't be around long enough to witness anything except your own imminent death. Are you sure about that? Why don't you say hello to my amazing companions? Damn. You've even got imaginary friends. Beast. 
that allows you to teleport things, even heavy ones. old white hair? Yeah, I got him. Good. Good. What is he saying? Hardenaster, I guess. Climbing the stairway to heaven. <sighs> and how do you plan to get his technology now? Easy, easy. I sell them packing the stuff into crates. I know where they took it. I have some more sightseeing to do. Where is it? Where's the machine? In the Mazovia Steelworks. Okay, Black. I'm in the right place. Did you track the target down? Did you see anything? I just saw some trucks heading to the steelworks. Good. You have to get inside the steelworks grounds. Damn. It's always business with you. And I had such a nice swim. Black, seems like I have to make two teleports at once. I need this power extended. Let the Lord guide my hand and my eye, then I won't miss. What was 
our landmines. Platoon 3 and 5 protect the entrance. Shoot the stranger. Fine into splinters.
not here. Hey, you stop! What is this? This piece of silicon contains a microchip. Wolf's ingenious invention. Give it back to me, Ryan. So is that all? Wolf's technology? All the fuss about this small piece of crap? You don't know its power. That technology enables control of human minds. Give it back. What do you mean, control? Like, robots? Worse. People will remain human seeming to make their own decisions, but it won't be of their own free will. Do they really have the balls to try and pull off something like that? The Creator will never let them get away with it. He wouldn't, if he knew about it. What are you saying? What do you mean? He's all-seeing. He knows everything. Except during the Millennial Eclipse. Never heard of it. Did I miss some classes during the training? It's not a joke, Ryan. They've kept this secret very well hidden. Once every millennium, planets block the Earth from the Creator's view. And that's where we are now. Definitely a tight spot. The chip. Give it to me, Ryan. Lieutenant Mitchell, report immediately. You're not going to give it to Black, are you? Gotcha. Time to go home. found a huge thing covered with microchips. It could be Wolf's famous machine. Yes, that must be it. Finally, go and get it now. The 
What should I do with him, sir? Nothing. He'll be much less bothersome dead. Ah, uh, that hurts. Uh, sooner or later, I will beat the living crap out of him. Unarmed! Shoot! I just fixed locomotives! I don't even have a gun! Get this area cleared, now!
APR. Lennox, the situation is getting serious. Hell yeah. Get me the machine now. Cool down, Black. I'm on a plane. You want me to jump out with it or what? Listen, you're currently over the North Atlantic. Whoa. Have you been stalking me, man? I'm not careless. I know your every move. Life in the limelight. I don't have time for your smart-ass banter, Lennox. Just throw the machine out into the abyss. We have our ways of retrieving it from there. Black. Why are you so crazy about the thing? That's none of your business. I'm the one who has it right now. So you might want to reconsider that answer. Look, it's a dangerous device. You don't say. Care to elaborate? Heather Light wants to use it to control human minds. We can't let that happen. Oh no. That would be awful. Black, how about you tell me something I don't know for a change? Like, how exactly does it work? You know more than I expected. I'm getting suspicious. Well, it broadcasts a signal. A signal? A satellite signal, using the same wavelengths as radios and television stations. It can reach every household with any type of media receiver, down to your basic radio set. Well, that's it, more or less. That's it? That's all you need to take control of people's minds? Apparently. And? Switch the button, then I will tell you more. So why don't we just destroy it? I need proof. A proof of Everlight's lunacy. Of their outrageous attempt at destroying the eternal balance. And you'll be the righteous among the wicked, the unwavering hand of justice. No, that is the supreme ruler's privilege. I pity the light situation the moment he regains his sight. And since when are you his star pupil? Stop yours. Whose side are you on? Heavens or hells? You won't earn my loyalty with lies, Black. The machine for the truth, that's the deal. Take your time. I have lots. I don't. Get me the machine now, and we'll show Light its true power. Will we now? Perfect, Barbara. I knew you'd find a way to decoy him. You can stop enjoying the moment now. I disabled the machinery. Oh, you think so? You have no idea how it works! Won't you kindly explain it to me now? With pleasure. Once the machine gets to the Everlight Satellite Center in Canada, it will be connected to the broadcasting system, and with the help of mass media, the modern world's greatest power, every household around the planet with radio or TV, every human being within the hearing range will become... A saint? Better. We'll make people better. It's pure madness. Madness? What's mad about erasing evil from human hearts? 
Well, I don't expect a filthy demon to understand it. What about free will? That's enough, scum. Since you're so interested in the machine, I'm sure you'll be glad to hear that soon you'll find exactly how it works. Yes, devilish dog. You'll be our first subject, the first demon in history to become an epitome of virtue. I've wasted enough time here, but I'm sure my assistant will take good care of you. Barbara, we're on course exactly above the HMS Liberty. Take your prisoner there. Yes, sir. Carlos, we'll do fine. Injection. Check the pulse. Eight drops. There's no time to waste. Why don't you try to do it? I am trying, but I need to stay undercover. I'm helping you as much as possible. So I'm the only one who's able to stop his crazy plans. Ryan, I believe you are the only man to save the world as we know it. And I'm doing my best to help you. Just join me. I can't. I'll be much more useful staying undercover. But you can fight him openly. Now listen, you're aboard the HMS Liberty. It's an aircraft carrier. Liberty? Oh, the irony. I had to pass you on to Admiral Jones, the ship's commander. But I'll help you get out. Finding Carlos is our only priority now. Wait. I don't feel so hot. This headache is killing me. You were poisoned. You need to heal yourself. No use. I've lost my powers again. Damn. I gotta contact Lucius. No! I don't want to see you turn into a demon, Ryan. You've become addicted to infernal powers. Maybe I'll ask that psychotic general of yours for angelic ones then, eh? Look, I'm defenseless now and I can't really go and save the world with this headache. Just tell me where my stuff is. Okay, okay. Your equipment is stored in the back of the ship. I'll guide you. Ryan, you're down on the sixth level of the aircraft carrier. This part of the ship isn't as heavily guarded as the upper decks. Watch for the security zones in the corridor. If unlocked, they become lethal gas traps. But they can be disabled. I saw sailors doing it somehow. Now, take a look in the next room. They probably keep some med kits there. The door is already open. Report. Who's there? This is Commander Jones speaking. Room there. We're changing the course to the northwest. Repeat. We're changing the course to the northwest. Get ready. Report!
Jones speaking. Calling all upper level crew officers to the bridge. You're in the officer sector. Hey. Be extra careful. Oh. They usually oh. say they can't. Look for the signs.
somehow I'm standing here and talking to you. Spooky, huh? Look, I know where Wolf's machine is. I don't trust you, Lennox. Same here, but I don't think we have any choice. Which seems to be the very foundation of our beautiful friendship. Now, my powers. They're actually mine. Look, time is not on our side. You still want the machine, or have you perhaps moved on to a new pet project? To hell with you. Okay. Don't screw up this time. Ah, uh, that's more like it. Get me the machine. The area is clear here. Over. Damn, we're losing!
Afraid you would come. You must have mistaken me for your guardian angel lady. I'm just a concerned citizen. Let's go. We have to get to the satellite center. We've got only a few hours left to stop Carlos. I'll do my best. Trust me. Call me naive, Ryan. But I really do. We have to head south. I know this place a bit. You've been here before? Several times. There's a path through the forest leading to the satellite center, from where Carlos is going to start his sinister operation. We have to get there before he succeeds. Are you in yet? Close. Know my generosity. Your teleport skill is now even more powerful. <laughs> Stop. Listen, I have a plan. I know this facility. Keep them busy as long as you can. I'll open the gate from the inside so you can get in. Ryan, go in! It's open!
break into their protective system. Let's meet again upstairs. Okay, let's go. There's still a lot of trouble ahead. Offering them a free tour of your homeland? <laughs> that comes later. Now I'll make the rain of mirrors fall from the sky, and you'll get to the center now.
This is the place. We did it. I never thought it would be so beautiful. Too bad I gotta wreck it all. You really seem to be enjoying this. Enjoying what? Destruction. Come on now, it's just a harmless hobby. Look, whatever it takes, we have to stop Carlos. It's more important than anything you've ever done in your life. Heal yourself, you don't look too good. I'm taking cover! Ryan, let me do that. I know how to break the security code. Okay, let's go. There's still a lot of trouble ahead. It's locked! I can't get in! Then I'll have to do it myself. Mitchell, you've disappointed me. You threw away a great career. I planned on making you my second in command. But no, you chose to betray Etherlight. Funny you should say that. You betrayed the Supreme Ruler. Oh, that's precious. A guardian of justice running on the devil's errands? You stand no chance against me, Hellspawn. So don't embarrass yourself. Just give up. I probably should, but I'm just so impulsive. 
You will die in pain! That line gets kinda old when you've heard it a hundred times. Use your imagination. Soldiers! This is our glorious day! I won't have it spoiled! I want this puny mortal's head on a stick! Do your job!
Dig in. Agent Lennox. What are the odds, huh? Lennox, I think you deserve the Employee of the Millennium Award. Not only have you led me all the way here, you even got rid of this worm Geysis for me. Always a pleasure. Good. Who knows? Your promotion might be right around the corner. Time to reprogram the machine. No! Turn it off, Black! Don't you dare interrupt me! I'll make the Earth my sole dominion! To hell with you! You won't stop me, traitor! Not without my powers! Have you ever been wrong before? Because I don't want the shock to upset you. Ryan? Oh, what happened? What's going on? It's over. It's all over now. We did it. 
It's so cold here. Better get used to it, babe. It's a cold, cold world out there. <laughs>